Well, good morning, everyone. Indeed, I'm Harold Brown uh, uh, with EdWorks, and uh, I am so delighted to be here with you for these two days of uh, outstanding, outstanding uh, inter interaction and networking with uh, folks who share this, this passion. I want to recognize two of my EdWorks colleagues who are also here. Many of you know Andrea Mulkey, who is um, EdWorks National Director of Strategic Partnerships, and she's been on the uh, planning committee. She's back there. Uh, we're so glad uh, she's part of our team. And also Mr. Tommy Chambers, who uh, has begun to work with EdWorks as well. Uh, let me also mention, uh, since we have done uh, uh, a lot of work in Ohio, Mr. Tom Lasley, who heads up the Ohio Early College Association, uh, he's the founder of the first early college that we had in Ohio, the Dayton Early College Academy. Um, and I did want to bring to your attention that they have now uh, published a book called Breaking the Cycle, uh, How Schools Can Overcome Early Challenges. It is the story of DECA, um, an outstanding, outstanding book, and it's written by a woman named Nancy Brown Diggs, D-I-G-G-S. Again, it's called Breaking the Cycle. So I believe that's available now if you want to order that book. It really is an outstanding story about uh, one of the early uh, and very successful early college high schools. <clears throat> so thank you, Tom, for, uh, for seeing that through. Well, again, we are so pleased to be uh, a presenting sponsor and a partner in this event, but I really want to thank both North Carolina New Schools and Jobs for the Future for developing and hosting uh, this important summit because we too believe that now is the opportune time for this work to grow dramatically. Uh, and what better way to initiate that growth than to rally the troops, so to speak, through the kind of information and strategy sessions that are being featured over these two days. Well, EdWorks grew out of the School Improvement Division of Cincinnati-based KnowledgeWorks Foundation, uh, and our work included uh, the Ohio Early College Initiative, where we helped develop nine early college high schools, and there have been more since then. Um, and following several years of grant-funded work in early college as well as school turnaround work, we spun off into a semi-autonomous subsidiary of KnowledgeWorks called EdWorks. And recently, we began phasing out all of our other work, all of our turnaround work, um, and have opted to focus almost exclusively on early college school development. <clears throat> in fact, we have branded both our K-8 and early college high school models as EdWorks Fast Track models. And so what binds us together with all of you is our passionate belief that all young people can achieve their dreams. Um, and uh, we, we know that every child can succeed, but they may just take alternative pathways to get there. They may need a different route than a traditional route to get there. And that's really what all of our work is about. But I also think we need to more boldly proclaim that the work we are doing addresses one of the most pressing issues facing our nation as a whole, and that is the crisis in college completion rates at a time when our economy cries out for a more highly educated and skilled workforce. And we all know that college completion rates in this country are absolutely abysmal, especially for our target population. President Obama's administration announced a goal for 50% of the United States population to have earned a higher ed degree by 2020, and the Lumina Foundation is aiming at 60% by 2025. But currently, only about 39% of adults across the nation have higher ed degrees. Worse yet, only about 13 to 15% of low-income and minority adults have degrees. This means that we'll need about 300,000 more people to graduate college every year if we want to reach those goals. And the current traditional college-going population is not enough. Projections show that the US will be a majority-minority nation by 2043. And given that reality, there's no way we can reach these higher ed attainment goals without dramatically increasing the number of first generation, low income and minority students who earn degrees. And of course, one of the primary reasons for such low college completion rates uh, is the large number of students who enter college underprepared. And higher ed spends a great deal of time and resources recruiting students only to see large numbers of them leave after their first year. In fact, more than 30% of all students drop out of college after their first year. And reports show that that number can be as high as 50 to 75% for low-income and minority students. And the costs go beyond higher ed uh, institutions themselves. The federal government and states combined spend about $1.8 billion, that's billion with a B, on students who don't return to college for a second year every year. But early college, we believe, is a transformative enrollment and retention strategy. Our nation, national data indicate that early college students who earn 25 to 30 college credits while in high school are twice as likely as their peers to complete a four-year degree. Twice as likely if they can earn 25 to 30 college credits while in high school. 
And as someone noted yesterday, there are fewer than 300 early college high schools in the United States, yet there are more than 7,000 institutions of higher ed, of which approximately 3,100 are two or four year degree granting institutions. So I am convinced that we can make a great case to them as to why they should embrace early college partnerships. And we at EdWorks are trying to do our part. We have committed to helping start up 44 new fast track early college high schools or K-8 academies over the next three years. And I'm happy to report that we're well on our way towards reaching that goal. Now as a nonprofit that must rely on fee for service revenue, we do of course have to talk about finances and numbers of schools. But what we are also committing to and proposing is not simply about the number of new schools we gather in our fast track early college network nor is it primarily about the amount of fee-for-service revenue we have to generate to keep our doors open. Those things are important, but we also want to talk about a bigger goal, which is completely and totally at the heart of our collective mission, and that is to lead the way to a new normal. We foresee a new normal where every high school student, every high school student, and especially first-generation low-income and minority students, will experience college success and attain a meaningful number of college credits during their high school careers. And more specifically, we want to be able to tell every youngster in grade school that if he or she works hard and stays at it and takes full advantage of every available opportunity, he or she can complete 14 years of schooling in 12 years and come away with an associate's degree or up to two years of college credit or perhaps a, a marketable certificate or accreditation that will lead to gainful employment. This needs to become our new normal. But when you consider that fewer than 15% of all low income and minority students entering ninth grade actually earn a four year degree, fewer than 15% entering the ninth grade will actually earn a four year degree. Yet in our cohort of schools, more than 87% of our early college high school graduates persist to a four year degree. More than 87% of them persist to a four year degree. This is perhaps the most promising strategy for moving those students from those communities to degree completion. And so if anyone wonders whether or not this work is innovative or worthy of further investment, the answer resoundingly is absolutely. And in the process, entire communities, states, the economies, the nation at large will benefit from a more highly educated population and a more skilled workforce, and that's what we're after. So finally, let me say again, we are convinced that now is the time to grow and expand this work. With the national urgency to produce more college graduates, as well as all of our track records of success in doing just that, we have an undeniable convergence of driving forces, and early college, I believe, is just the plan to achieve those goals.